Hey there, today I'm going to be showing you how to backup and restore Origin games super easy. Now if you've used Steam you might be aware that there's a function which kind of does it for you but Origin doesn't have that for whatever reason. But doing so isn't too complicated. Now there's many reasons why you might want to do it. Uh, you might be changing hard drive, you might be defragging your current hard drive, you may be uh, uh, building a new computer, you might want to uh, if your friend has got bought the game but takes forever to download, you might want to lend it to them because it isn't old. This isn't account locked, and uh, or in my case recently, I've upgraded from Windows 7 to 10, and I did a clean install, so it wiped everything off a hard drive. So I had to do this, but I'll show you how to do it. It's pretty easy. So firstly, to do this, uh, what you'll need to do is open up. F I'll just do this fresh. Open up your Fire Explorer. Go to wherever your Origin games are normally installed on your computer. For me, it's C, but it might be different for you. Head down to your Program Files Brackets bit. So this will work on any uh, Windows computer, whether it's 32-bit, 64-bit, or 86-bit. Um, I assume this will also work on a Mac, but I'm not sure what the directories would be. Don't, and I don't know if it will actually work on a Mac, because I play games. I don't use a Mac. So head to the okay. Head to the Origin Games folder, not Origin, Origin Games. So this is all the games which are currently installed or waiting to be installed. Or currently installed or being downloaded. This is where they are. So if you wish to back them up, uh open up where you wish them to be backed up to. So in most cases it'll be an external hard drive or USB or something along those lines. So I'm gonna open that up now, the external uh, I've got it in E. I've already done it, Origin Games. So, backing up is super easy. You just pick up the folder, copy, let go, bing, bang, boom, zip. And that's, that's all it is to backing up. Simple. Now, storing is a bit more complicated. Now, you may think with conventional logic, well, if I'm copying from here to here and that works, do I just copy, say, Battlefield 3 and put it in here? Uh, that won't work. Instead, Origin has to know the locations there, and there's no thing like Battle.net where, like, you go search for a location. You have to kind of... it has to do it pre. So, to do it, we open up Origin. We go to the game which you want downloaded. So, in this case, it will be Battlefield 3. Um, so you go add to downloads. Now I know what you might be thinking, I don't want to download it. Calm down, it's okay. So I'll accept the language. Yeah, 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 punk buster, whatever. Yada, yada, yada. Queued. No, I want to do it now. Now how it says downloading. Pause it. Pause the download. Now. Uh, exit Origin. You might not have to exit Origin, but I'd recommend doing so. Now, if you notice in the Origin Games folder now, Battlefield 3 is there. Wow. And that's because it prepared the download, so it's created the folder. Now, what you do is you open up this folder. Don't delete it. Don't just copy this in. Open up the Battlefield 3 folder and delete everything in it, but not for folder itself, just for contents. Now we go over to where we've backed it up, and we copy all this, and just paste it in. So this may take a little while, so I may do a kind of a jump cut to when this is done, but essentially the concept is that yeah, because Olgen needs to know where the game is, that's why you have to follow that steps. It's kind of like, I find that this is a less, it's a, you know, it's a bit more convoluted than Steam's automatic system, but I find this is a lot more reliable, because Steam's automatic system can be a bit dicky. Now, from what I understand, you can kind of do with Steam as well, but I've never tried it. So, um, this is a bigger game, so we'll come back to it, if you will. Welcome back. So, hopefully, all has gone well, so it's copied over. 
So let's go see if it worked. If it doesn't, I'll look like a bloody fool. So we open up Origin. Open as administrator. Yada yada yada. Uh, oh, you can just delete what's in the cycle bin if you want. So, whoa. <laughs> so log into your Origin account. I'll just block off my email. I mean, I don't care if you see it. Um, wait for it to open. Uh, fuck FIFA. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now we go in here. And we resume the download of the game. Resume download. So we can click here to have more info. Now the only game which I've ever had problems with this working with is the 2013 SimCity. And I believe the problem with that is due to the game launcher, like that weird MMO launcher thing, and I think that was the problem. So, this will keep saying resuming download, and you might be thinking, oh, it's stuck, it's stuck. Uh, but what it's actually doing is, it's just like, scanning the folder, I believe, for the file. So just give it a bit. I'll jump cut to it. So you might have to wait a bit. Hey, we're back. So uh, it did it, and now it's installing. So yeah, it. Remember, the bigger the game, the longer it'll take. So if you've got something like Titanfall, that'll take a while. Um, if you create out of Origin and go back in, I don't think that'll help. Uh, but with that said, uh, a quick, you know, a note of obviousness. Uh, if it will only restore to the version which you've backed up to. So, for example, if uh, Battlefield 4, when I restored it, I had to patch it because Battlefield 4 had received updates since I had backed it up. Now, I'm showing you Battlefield 3 as an example because I do not believe I have done any updates to the game since the time I had backed it up. Like, Titanfall was having issues for me. And I believe that this should also cover all the DLC too. Hopefully. Hey there, just a quick note on DLC. It will do with each bit of DLC individually. So um, for mine it's just gone through the four or five Battlefield DLCs because I had premium. So it says resuming update, but fear not, uh, it's just doing the same thing it did before. It's kind of just checking it, they'll install it, but it will do each one individually. So once it's all done, then it's all done. <coughs> and that's it, it's all done. So you can find the game and play it. Uh, Oh, that was easy. Oh, good. Not a problem. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, post them below in the comments, and I will try and help you. Hopefully I can, maybe not. Some people are just beyond help. See ya.